Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about the new Notion feature called Notion Groups and Notion Subgroups in Databases. It's a new feature that has been released a couple of days ago and it's pretty revolutionary when it comes to how you and your team um, actually can work together and organize your tasks and um, you know your data inside of Notion. So let's get started right away without further talking. So you probably know that even before this update, you were able to group your elements inside of the board view in Notion databases. But now this feature is actually available for pretty much every database type. You can do it with list views, table views, gallery views, and uh, basically every view uh, besides the calendar view. And um, this allows you to kind of group your data inside of your different database views, uh, depending on a certain property. So let me show you how this works with this database I have here, which is a database of different tools that I use uh, and that, that I enjoy working with. And it has different categories and lots and lots of different tool entries. Um, so let's see how we can kind of organize this. To do that, you can go to the options over here and then go to the group option. Now we can choose which uh, kind of property we want to choose to group these values by. Um, so in our case, we want to choose category. So now you see over here that for each of these different um, individual kind of values um, of our property, of our category property, we get kind of an instance of the database. So we get all the, the database entries that actually have this uh, value uh, inside of them. So if I click on this one, you'll see that the category for this is WordPress. Now what you can also do is if you go into the group settings again, you can choose to hide all the groups that are empty. So for example, the no category group now is empty. And if I uh, click on that, uh, then you'll see that it disappears from over here. Uh, and also we can choose to kind of hide individual um, categories uh, or individual groups by uh, like uh, to our liking. So if I don't want to see the WordPress ones, I can just hide them like this and I can unhide them uh, like this as well. And you can also rearrange them, you know, to show up in the order that you want them to be in. Let's say we want to be have uh, productivity at the top and no category at the bottom. And then this is how it will show up in your database. Now for board views, there's even an additional feature called subgroups that allow you to kind of um, group your items based on two different types of criteria. So let me show you how this works with my content plan right here. So this is like the content plan that I use to kind of manage what content I produce and I have different kinds of properties that kind of uh, yeah, organize this stuff. So the kind of main property that things are being organized by here is uh, kind of the stage that they're in. So uh, if it's an idea, if it's in the planning phase, in the filming phase, or in the editing phase. And this is determined by the groups that I choose right here. So I'm grouping by status, and I have these four categories that are being shown. And now I can also subgroup them based on a different property. So in my case, what I'm doing is I'm grouping them based on the kind of platform that are being launched to. So um, I have this um, subgroup uh, for platforms and there I have the different platforms that I post my, my content on. So YouTube, my blog, uh, course platforms and Twitter. And if you scroll down, you'll see that I have, you know, this is like the YouTube uh, toggle. And then I also have the blog section, I have the course platform section, I have the Twitter section. And so I can really organize this content in a better way. If I want to say, well, I want to work on uh, new content that's uh, currently in the planning phase, and that is uh, going to go onto the blog, uh, then I know where to look right here. So just a nice feature that makes it easier for you to organize your views and to organize the work that you do within Notion. Now, another nice addition that comes with this is that the grouping feature now allows you to group by more values than it used to before. So now you can also group by relations, you can group by numbers and so on, um, which was previously not possible. And uh, this now makes it much more easier and much uh, more flexible for you um, to organize and to kind of group things depending on your exact use case. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what you're actually using this for in the comments. Um, I'm really excited to kind of hear about, you know, your use cases and how you're going to implement those into your Notion workspace. And uh, besides from that, that's it for this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.